Pelican Sound. I'm your head golf professional, Tim Harris, and I'm here to talk to you today about some of the new rules of golf, more specifically uh, the bunker. And we've been getting quite a bit of feedback on the new rules, which is good because they started January 1st. But one of the things that I've been hearing a lot of, and it's kind of spreading like wildfire around the club, is that you can ground your club in a bunker. And I want to be here to tell you, coming straight from the horse's mouth, no, you cannot. You cannot ground your club in a bunker when you are going to hit a shot, okay? So if I was in a sand bunker like I am right here, just like the old rules of golf, you cannot ground your club. So if this is illegal, okay, I can't ground my club in the uh, before I hit a shot. Now, you can hover your club just like you could always. Everyone should understand that. But one of the new things that you can do that you couldn't do before is you can remove loose impediments like this leaf right here. I can take that out of the track and get it out of my way. Anything that's natural, it's not fixed, I can remove out of the way. But I cannot ground my club before I hit the shot. Now, some people have asked me, what if you're just standing in the bunker casually and your, your club happens to touch the sand? That's okay, all right? As long as it's not for the purposes of testing the sand or testing the surface to see how firm or how soft it is. You can accidentally hit the sand as you're walking in. You know, if you just happen to brush the sand with your club, that's okay. You can lean on it if you're just waiting for a shot like this. But if you're going to hit a shot, you cannot, and I can't say this loud enough, you cannot ground your club like this, okay? You have to hover it above the sand and then go ahead and take your shot. Um, another thing that you can do in a bunker that you couldn't do before is if you have a bad lie and you don't like it, you can move it out of the bunker, but it'll cost you two penalty strokes. And you have to do it on the line between the flag stick to your ball and then all the way back. I'm going to attach a USGA video to this one here, which better explains some of the other things you can do in a bunker. They have pretty cool graphics that I don't have, and you can watch that. And they'll tell you the same thing that I just told you, that you cannot ground your club in a bunker. But I wanted to get that message out there because I'm starting to hear a lot of things. People are coming up to me and asking me. I've heard that you can ground your club in a bunker. No, you cannot. You can ground your club in a penalty area, and you can look in, uh, there's other rules that I've done that explain that but you cannot ground your club in a bunker. Folks, looking forward to a great season. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to me at any time. Watch the video that's attached to this from the USGA. And thanks for your time.